So um, I'm still going to incorporate these ener these energies into the reading because I feel really strongly that this still applies to some of you. I feel like I feel like for the majority of you listening to this, um, you know, the messages are are all are all really good. I mean, they're good regardless. Um, but I feel like there is a small percentage of you that may still be stuck in a little bit of this pattern, a little bit of this, um, kind of self-deprecating, um, self-loathing, um, you know, inconsolable type of energy. Some of you also may be in a pattern, um, of, um, of drinking too much. I'm getting that message strongly, uh, with this card. Um, some maybe uh, recovering alcoholics who may have relapsed or um, other other drugs or um, methods of escapism is is coming up in this card. So, like I said before, it there seems to be this um, this uh, this really divide amongst cancers where you can either choose to to stay in this uh low vibration um you know this this pattern spinning your wheels so to speak or if you choose to take the other path there's some really beautiful energies that are that are there and i really feel like that's why this card popped out because i don't feel like it's the pattern for the majority of you um but i do feel like the message is there because um, there are really beautiful um, changes that are that are trying to come through on the other side if only you would just believe. And I have the Believe card as one of your um, oracle cards. So, uh, and there's there's a really beautiful butterfly on the card as well. So there's there's some really some transformative things that are going on here. There's a transformation that is trying to happen with some of you, with the people that are still stuck in this vibration of, um, of, of just, you know, sorrow and, and self-loathing. Um, you just have to allow it. You have to believe, you have to believe that you deserve it, that you are, um, that you're capable, that, that you're good enough, um, there's just a really, um, and, and again, I know that this message applies, I think to, you know, the minority of you, but, uh, the minority that it does apply to, it's the, the energy is, is quite strong. And, um, the message is really strong there for you guys that you can get out of this. You can break this cycle. You can, um, you can change your life. You can completely overcome some of these obstacles and, and, you know, not, not all of these obstacles, you know, involve, you know, drugs and alcohol, of course, but, um, just this cycle of pain and fear and just, you know, and, and just turning away from those who are trying to reach out for you and trying to reach for your hand, you know, allow people to help to help you. Don't be afraid to accept their help. And, um, the Jesus card also came up in my Mary queen of angels deck, uh, as another Oracle message. And the message here is I pray for Jesus's help and guidance with this situation. And I really feel like this, this just Jesus message is here for everybody, but it is here really strongly for those that are, um, stuck in this, this five of cups, energy um know that his guidance is also there for you um it's there like i said you just have to um accept the help just you know reach for his hand he's reaching for yours you know uh reach for his and um and just allow that um that guidance that love that um that 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 divine paternal love to really just reach you because there's so many beautiful things that are just on the other side of it if only you just um, allow it. So I'm being guided to um, speak on the sun card next. And 
so this is this is an example of the type of energy that's that's there that's really just below the surface that's really coming out of the ground and it's just this um really beautiful transformative renewal energy that's there for everybody for all for all cancers and i'm getting with this energy that this is um this is the result of a lot of hard work that a lot of you had put in. This is not a matter of luck. It's not, oh, well, um, you know, the divine willed it or, you know, I'm just in a good cycle of my life. I'm getting that this is because you guys worked your butts off and you you earn this and that the divine and, and, and the angels and your guides are rewarding you with this because they're proud of you you know i mean uh god helps those who help themselves and you guys put in the work you guys did what you needed to do i mean this is this this applies to all facets you know this is not just um you know work work wise career wise you know if you had a um a a weight loss goal you know you've achieved it if you um or working on some sort of creative project or, you know, um, working on, or on some sort of, uh, long-term goal, some sort of, you know, labor of love or, um, some other sort of maybe writing project or a film project or whatever it is. And this, this, this kind of applies across the board I'm getting, um, you're you're reaping the rewards of this because you 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 put in the work you know um there's a really um budding energy that's coming out of this i mean you've you've completed this task some of you but it's just you it's just really coming into um you're you're just beginning to uh reap the benefits of it, you know, and for those of you who are maybe, um, starting, um, a new project or a new endeavor in your life, uh, the time is now to do it. This is a really powerful month for cancers and, um, really utilize the energy of this month that I'm, I'm getting that is just, it's, it's like, now it's like right at the start of the month there's something really budding and beautiful that's that's coming up out of the ground that's there for you to seize there for you to take hold of and to um really just uh generate you know what it is that that you want from it whether it's um you know some some sort of uh, financial return or spiritual return or, you know, some other, or personal return, whatever it is, it's there for you to seize and, and take hold of. And you should be really proud. You should be really proud of your, of your accomplishment. And, um, and I'm getting that this is just the beginning. I'm getting that this is really, um, this is, this is only going to, um, it's only going to bring more, um, abundance in your life. Um, it's, it's your time to shine. I'm getting that this is a, a yes type of energy. That's the, that's the, um, that's the phrase that my guides are giving me right now. So, like I said, whether this is a long-term endeavor that you've been working on or whether it's something that you want to um you're feeling that energy and you want to start on this on this project or this new endeavor in your life or weight loss goal or whatever it is i'm getting that the answer is yes 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 do it now harness this energy you know i mean literally now that the beginning of the month i'm getting is is uh one of the most powerful times i feel for you to to, to start this. So, um, so go for it. It's going to be, it's going to be successful. I mean, um, it's, it's sitting right next to the six of wands and it's in between the six of wands and, and the knight of wands. So the wands is a, is a, um, 
is a good indication of change. And what I'm sensing here, it's a, again, it's a very positive change. And it's sitting in between these two energies, these two, you know, um, these men on horses, you know, they're, they're kind of facing each other. It's sort of sandwiched in between, um, these two really vibrant, um, victorious go, go get them kind of energies. I mean, I, I can't, uh, stress it enough. My guides can't stress it enough that it's like it, they're saying, go for it. Um, and whatever it is, I mean, the, the list is long, uh, you listening right now, you know, you know what this is. Um, you know what, um, you know what it is I'm talking about. So they're saying, yes, they're saying, go for it. Um, to go back to the six of wands again, I mean, this is such a, a, a fabulous, card of um a victory and, and um and recognition and um i'm getting that this um that there are messages that are coming in that are coming in now the first week of the month and going into the month that are going to be really positive help that's going to be coming your way um recognition uh from from work from your employer from you know maybe um a publisher or um you know some other agent um talent agent whatever you know whatever it is again whatever it is that you put your goals to whatever it is that you have been putting your your goals to it's 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 coming up it's coming up right now um you have the Knight of Wands again, like I said, on the other side. So there's also this just this really um, passionate kind of driving force again that's behind it. I just to me this energy, this this Knight of Wands energy, this this just feels almost like the fire that's kind of underneath this pot that's boiling. It's kind of what's giving you the the gusto to. Um, to really kind of just move forward with this idea and to make it happen and to just kind of uh bring it to the forefront forefront and what i feel too with this energy is this could actually be um this could actually be a a, a romantic energy that's also entering into your life um like i said this really seems to be um, a good time for cancer. So it, it's not surprising to see that it could also, uh, you, you could also manifest, you know, love at this time, uh, a return of love. If you are, you know, maybe perhaps a twin flame and you're, you're waiting for a return of your partner or a new partner. If you're, if you're searching for that soulmate or that divine partnership, um, it's coming. Uh, wh whoever it is you're waiting for, they're, 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 you're also on their mind. And it seems to be kind of coming your way. Just really good things seem to be coming your way. So that's why I stressed before. Um, I knew some of you were still in this five of cups kind of position. And um, I really feel like that that's why, the, you know, the car popped out and it popped out it didn't show up again in the reading because it does the energies are, are heavy there it doesn't apply to these readings but to this reading but it does apply to to some of you and it's 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 coming up to show you what is here if only you allow it if only you believe it you know um you just have to again you just have to believe that's that's the oracle card here you have to believe that these um, these beautiful things are just below the surface, you know, it just, it just, uh, it's, you know, it's like the sun energy, you know, it just takes a little bit of, of sun and water to kind of make this beautiful plant, this beautiful flower to grow, um, just takes a little bit more nurturing, a little bit more, um, believing in oneself to, um, to allow that kind of flower to, to break through that, that cold, hard surface, you know? but it's, but it's there. It's certainly there. And, um, you have the four of wands as your, um, as your crowning energy for this reading. So again, this is the third wand to show up in the reading. So, um, there's so much change that's happening. There's so much positive 
change that's that's happening for the month and this is a really um positive sign of just of just community and um and just um i'm feeling i'm feeling a a, a religious um or spiritual community in this card um bonding with people that you feel connected with on a on a spiritual level um you know maybe maybe starting a new spiritual practice or like a, a new um joining a um joining a church that you feel really connected with or um some other type of spiritual community i mean it really just could even be a, a yoga class or like a meditation retreat that perhaps that you're going on um it is a sense of community, but I feel like it's very strongly tied to a spiritual, some sort of spiritual community that's only going to um, really enhance the the good fortune and the good energy that's kind of coming through in the month. I mean, you know, everything just kind of seems to be kind of coming up roses for you. So like I said before, it doesn't surprise me that, um, you know, everything is is changing for the better um spiritual wise uh career wise um you know romantically um for some of you i mean this could even indicate a a wedding this month um some other type of celebration um i'm getting showers some of you may be having showers this month bridal showers wedding showers um, of course we're, we're approaching the holiday season. So, um, there's, there's many reasons why you could be celebrating, why you could be communing with others this month. And, um, it's just going to be a really, I'm, I'm getting a, just a really fun, <laughs> a really fun time, uh, for a lot of you in, in a lot of different ways. And, um, I was bringing up the spiritual community before because I also have the hermit card for you. So it's interesting because um, a lot of times, you know, this energy, it indicates so much, uh, you know, going inward and kind of going a little bit on a, um, a little bit of like a, a solitary kind of, you know, introspective um, path. But it's, it really feels like you're some, for some of you, you will be, um, you know, going off indi individually, like I said, being called to maybe go on some kind of like medita meditation retreat or, um, I mean, I said individually, but that still is a very individualistic type of, type of retreat. You're spending a lot of time in solitude and, and meditating, but, um, it's, it seems like you're, um, it seems like for some of you, like I said, it will be a solitary thing, but you will feel, um, a sense of, of community there. You feel the sense to be, um, introspective in your thoughts, really, um, you know, grounding in some of, some of your, uh, some of your gifts and some of your, you know, your, your spiritual side, but that you also kind of need, feel the need to share it in a way, feel the need to, um, to connect with others, feel the need to apply it. So like I said, even though the hermit can be a really solitary type of energy, it doesn't, feel like for a lot of you, you're going to, uh, approach it in that, in that type of way. Um, even if it is in a solitary way, I'm getting that some of you will be, you know, starting to write about it, starting a, you know, a journal that maybe you might publish later, you know, so it may start out in, in like a solitary type of feel, but you're going to be sharing, um, whatever, you know, wealth of knowledge kind of comes out of it eventually. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a very positive time for you spiritually as well. And this is only going to 
enhance whatever intuitive gifts that you already have, um, enhance whatever amazing, amazing project that is going on right now, which I said I was getting the, the yes energy for. Um, I'm getting that this is going to really be kind of like the, the backbone for um, for whatever this this sun energy is the this thing that's bringing you this success and um, and gifts this is the backbone for it and this this Jesus card as well is very much the backbone for it um, so really really utilize that really um, really get in touch with your guides get in touch with your spiritual side I'm getting that it, that's only going to really enhance uh, what's happening this month and your the you know the, the the fortune that's coming to you this month and I don't mean fortune necessarily in uh, the, you know the material aspect I mean it meta metaphorically um, there's so much here there's so much uh, really wonderful positive change that is um, that is really grounded in um, in Christ's energy in um, and really just spiritual uh, kind of esoteric kind of um, really just really wonderful grounding grounding energy um, so yeah I mean it's there's just there there is so much to be thankful for this month and there's a lot to kind of um, expect I feel like out of this month you know but again it's because it's because you've put in the work, you know, and if you haven't put in the work yet, or like I said, if you're still in this five of cups mentality, um, just know that it's there, know that it's on the cusp. And, um, you know, these things, like I said before, they're not going to come to you just out of luck or just out of thin air. It's going to come because you, you earned it. You believed in yourself. You put the hours in you put the labor in and um and also just as just as importantly you took the time to um to be to be silent to sit in solitude to be in that hermit energy to um 